Kaldoria. Finally, the terrible memories of Earth's world wars have started to fade. After discovering the strength of unification, humanity reclaimed and restored their once ravaged planet. However, all of these accomplishments have become threatened by man's most incredible discovery, time travel. Frightened by its potential for disaster, government leaders immediately seized the time machine, codenamed Pegasus, and moved it to a secret location. Realizing that the integrity of the time continuum would now Power. have to be Got something cooking. Let's check this window. Make sure everything's good. Audio levels look good. Checking here. So I think we're going to go ahead and let the uh, intro play through here, and then we'll jump into some uh, Pegasus Prime. is 2318. The location, the sky-born metropolis of Kaldoria. Finally, the terrible memories of Earth's world wars have started to fade. After discovering the strength of unification, humanity reclaimed and restored their once ravaged planet. However, all of these accomplishments have become threatened by man's most incredible discovery, time travel. Frightened by its potential for disaster, Government leaders immediately seized the time machine, codenamed Pegasus, and moved it to a secret location. Realizing that the integrity of the time continuum would now have to be forever guarded, the Unified Earth Government formed an elite agency to protect history. On a day when an unlikely and unproven member of this team was monitoring the time stream, the unimaginable occurred. Gage Blackwood, Agent 5 of the Temporal Protectorate, would be called upon to prevent a crisis that will threaten history itself. A crisis that could destroy not only the past, but also the future of humankind. This is the story of Earth's most timely hero. intro for uh, Pegasus Prime. Uh, it is a retelling, a remake of the original Journeyman Project and uh, Journeyman Project Turbo, um, made to uh, kind of bring the original story up to stuff with the sequel story, Buried in Time, uh, put together by the uh, Phenomenal Presto Studios crew, which uh, we had them on the show uh, about a year ago, give or take. Uh, awesome bunch of fellas. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump right in.
Kaboom! Good morning, I'm Johnny Ego, and you're listening to the mellow sounds of WKIM Too Big. Caldoria. Hey, Sleeping Beauty! Don't tell me you overslept. Whoa, you look awful. Gee, Did you thanks. have another one of those nightmares? You know, you really should talk to the doc about that. Anyway, this is just a friendly reminder that uh, you're supposed to relieve me at 0700. Remember, it was your idea to draw straws and you drew the short one. So, you get to hold down the fort while the rest of us go and watch the Sirolan delegate procession. Look, you always wanted to be the Lone Ranger. Now, get down here on time for Where's a change and I'll let you watch my op man when I come back. See you later. Wake up. Wake up. I am up. Shut up. Good morning, Agent 5. Well, good morning, shiny face. It seems face. that you have slept with your neuroocular prosthesis on again. Your monocle needs recalibration. What do you mean again? Stand by. Oh, that's a big hand. The energy level warning light is operational. The energy level counter is at 100%. Scrolling through the inventory control panel. You currently have no inventory items. Scrolling through the biochip display panel. You have the AI biochip installed. Yeah, Initiating self-diagnosis of onboard artificial intelligence. AI unit is fully operational. Agent 5, recommend you set an electrostatic shock reminder so this repeated morning recalibration routine does not continue. Ah, uh, nag, nag, nag. All right, let's take a look around, see what we got. So we've got mission briefing. Your current directive is to report to the Temporal Security Annex for your scheduled shift and monitor the time stream for possible anomalies. Okay, and let's see what this does. You are in your apartment 4C of the Caldoria Heights complex. You, much like your rent, will be late if you do not begin your morning hygiene routines immediately. Why does my artificial intelligence have to be a snarky bitch? Not okay with this. All right, let's take a look here. Oh, that's right. This isn't click to move. This is old school. All right, let's get up. Agent 5, you are due for your shift at the Temporal Security Annex. Recommend departure soon. Yeah, yeah, let's let's go explore. Because if I'm already late, then who cares? Uh, that looks like the hallway. I don't want to leave yet. Go poke around the apartment. So we got the bedroom. There we go. There's the bathroom. And... Good morning, Mr. Blackwood. Ooh. Stand by for health check schedule. Your body fat today is 15%. Today's tip: cut back on the Chinese takeout. Please choose a hairstyle. Uh, let's take a look here. Check Retro Thrash. Sorry, that request is inappropriate for your current work schedule. Really, you're going to tell me Agent what I can five. and can't wear? You are late for your scheduled shift at the TSA. G Shock. G O Wave. Sorry, that request is inappropriate for your current work schedule. Holy shit, it's the mullet of the future. Agency Standard. Well, that's nifty. Yep, that is the toilet, and we appear to be sitting on it. The wait is over. At precisely 6 a.m. West Coast time, 
A Cerulean space vehicle entered Earth's atmosphere and landed on the lawn in front of Kaldoria's Capitol building. Although the city square is being kept clear for the ceremony, crowds of onlookers have formed on the fringes, eager to catch a glimpse of the Cerulean ambassador as he emerges from the spacecraft to shake hands with Dr. Castillo, symbolizing our acceptance into the symbiotry of peaceful beings and forever changing the course of human events. Stay tuned for more. Cool, we sit on the john and we get future newspapers. That's neat. Auto flush. All right, let's see what we got over here. Big red button. Gotta push the big red button. Good morning, Mr. Blackwood. You have two messages. Oh, you won't just autoplay me a message? First message. Just calling to say thanks for the Thai food last night. Sorry I had to leave so early, but this story is the biggest break of my career. I think you'll be able to catch me on your environment system. I'll call you later. Bye. All right, let's see what else we got. Second message. Good morning, Agent 5. I sincerely hope the reason you're not answering your phone is because you're already on the way to TSA. You've already been late to work twice this week. I need you here on time for a change. To relieve Agent 3 for the alien procession. Don't disappoint me. Ah, uh, call from the boss. Pretty cool key ring. I can I, I would love a key ring like that. Like everything just kind of whips out, like all your credit cards. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, let's see what we got up here. Good morning, Mr. Blackwood. Please make a selection. The synthesizing electrolyte proteinamin nutrient number four. Share and enjoy. As per your diet, Cafe Borgia is not a viable option. Lame. All right. What do we got here? Current cleaning mode, gentle cycle. Durathane microweave setting. Estimated time to completion, approximately three hours. God damn, that's some long ass laundry. Following is a special report from INN. Good morning, Caldoria. I'm Mark Johnson. INN has just been notified that the Symbiotry Ambassador's ship landed moments ago and a fleet of Cyrolan ships has approached Earth and is now in geosynchronous orbit over Kaldoria. This dude looks Our reporter like a Megan caster. Love is live on the scene at the Capitol building where the alien procession is scheduled to take place. Megan, can you describe what's going on down there? 
thank you, Mark. There's a tremendous crowd on hand to witness this historic event, and the atmosphere can only be described as electric. As most of our watchers know, hey, was it was in 2308, night. just three years after the World Unification Accords held in Gorbistan, that Earth was visited by a race of aliens who called themselves the Sirolans. They told us that they were here to invite us into an alliance which they called the Symbiotry of Peaceful Beings. They told the world that the purpose of this alliance is simply to share knowledge and culture with other alien races. They then left after saying they would give us exactly 10 years to deliberate their proposal. Today is the day of their return and all along the streets the people of Keldoria are waiting for the gates to open so they can catch a glimpse of the Sorolan delegate from the Capitol lawn. We will keep you informed with up-to-the-minute reports about this historic event. For the Interactive News Network, I'm Megan Love. This has been a special report from INN. All right, now we got our news. You may change your audio and visual selections at any time. So we can make it look like an island. We have a desert. Mountains. This module is blank. For information on ordering additional environments and music selections, please contact the management. Apparently this is what passes for rock in the future. that orchestra, that's all sad, but you know. Alright, that's just noise. Oh, that's not bad. That actually kind of fits the mountains pretty well there. We like that. Alright, let's quit screwing around. Agent 5, you have nearly exceeded the optimal departure time. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Time to go. Alright, there's the hallway. That is definitely a wall in front of our face. Alright, let's call the elevator. Second floor. Third floor. Fourth floor. Hey, that's my elevator. Come back. And who was on it? Roof access. Oh, I wanted to go to the roof. Fourth floor. of the future. Third floor. Second floor. First floor. Now I got a cool idea. Let's go check out what's on the roof. Apparently he was going to the roof. Let's us go to the roof. Second floor. Third floor. Fourth floor. Roof access. Alright, what's so important up here that he couldn't stop to pick me up? Rooftop observatory closed. If it's closed, where do you go? Alright, let's go to work. Mm. 
and it's some weird elevator music. Fourth floor. Third floor. Second floor. First floor. See the we can see the alien ship. All right, so that's what the alien ambassadors came in. transport card now. Alright, so let's get into our inventory here. No, no, not that. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can remember how to do inventory. the key card. <coughs> yeah, that's not what we want. No, that's not it. <laughs> That's not the right button. Alright, one of these pops up the inventory. Your current directive is to I have to go fucking put that glass down to get into my inventory. Mm -hmm. Alright, I don't remember how to get into my inventory selection. you have that's peculiar all 
All right, let's go put the glass back in the dishwasher so we can get to our key ring. Second floor. Third floor. Fourth floor. us. Yeah, it is. Good morning, Mr. Blackwood. Please make a selection. My selection is to give you that back. Done. transport card now. Alright. Now we can get to it. That's cool. Choose a destination. Like a pocket knife. Preparing destination transporter. Recording passengers organic substratum. Prepare for molecular disintegration. Hey, hey, I didn't sign up to be disintegrated, damn it. Thank you for your slow transport. Okay, we have died. So apparently we're not allowed Choose to Choose a destination. Other destinations, destinations have not been pre-programmed. Aw, lame. Right. Foreign organism detected in transporters. 
please hold for tracking and sterilization process. Foreign element eliminated. Preparing destination transporter. Recording passengers organic substratum. Prepare for molecular disintegration. Thank you for using global transport. out of a fucking mountain. If I miss the first human encounter with alien beings, somebody's in a mood. Robots. Proceed to the command center. The robots are very robot-y. Check out the command center. Ooh, swanky. So you finally decided to make it into work. And only 32 minutes late this time. Obviously you think TSA rules do not apply to you. Well, you are wrong. As of now, you're grounded. One week of review and data cleanup work in the command center, and you can start by reviewing TSA agent procedures, which you've obviously forgotten. Uh-oh, someone's in a bad mood. So let's check out some stuff. The simplest analogy for the theory of time travel is that of a tunnel in time. When someone travels through time, a tunnel is created, which originates when the travel is begun and ends when the traveler lands. If some event in the past is altered, the theory states a rip occurs in the fabric of time, which gives rise to a temporal chain reaction. This chain reaction takes the form of a reality distortion wave. It could take anywhere from a few seconds to several hours to reach the present. Of those who aren't uncreated when the distortion wave hits, many will suddenly have a new life, and the past as we know it will cease to exist. Traveling back in time before the distortion wave hits allows an agent to jump over the distortion wave and escape its effects. As a member of the Temporal Protectorate, you alone will have the ability to jump back in time and prevent the corruption from ever happening. To ensure that it doesn't happen again, you'll have to discover the source of this disruption and bring it to a halt. One main caution exists. When time jumping, never allow the energy level that sustains the temporal link between yourself and the Pegasus device to be depleted, for integrity failure of this conduit will end any possibility of returning to the present. That sounds not good. In the event that it becomes necessary to restore the proper course of history, the procedure is as follows. As quickly as possible, get to the Ready Room and retrieve your assigned mapping and Pegasus biochips and the journeyman key from their storage containers. The Pegasus biochip is your link to Pegasus. 
It is what allows you to be pulled back to the present at the touch of a button. Next, enter the Biosupport Suit Generator. The Biosupport Suit is an indispensable element of the time travel process and is essential for your protection. After you are outfitted for travel and before the reality distortion wave reaches the present, you must jump to the year 200 million B.C. Upon arriving, use the journeyman key to open the storage vault and obtain the journeyman historical log. Since it exists at a point in time previous to any likely temporal changes, this disk serves as a source of unaltered historical information. To discover how history has been changed, return to the temporal security annex and insert the journeyman disk into the computer. It will be cross-referenced with the historical log which was left behind and altered by the reality distortion wave. Knowing how, when, and where the past was changed should give you the information you need to restore the proper flow of history. A word of caution. Time is very sensitive to change. In order to keep from altering history further, try to solve the problems you encounter without changing anything. As a rule, a temporal protectorate agent should never interfere with any events of the past. Never leave anything behind that came from a different time. Never remove any historically significant objects from an environment. And above all, an agent should never interact with beings from another time zone. Alright, you hear that? Eastern Standard and uh, Pacific Time? You guys can't talk to each other. You're different time zones. Don't interact. The Particle Accelerating Space-Time Transporter V-1, otherwise known as Pegasus, was the brainchild of part-time historian and full-time physicist Dr. Elliot Sinclair. In 2311, after seeing Sinclair's time-bending experiments, the government contracted him to build a full-scale, operational time machine. The purpose of this device was to explore our past, as well as to discover the truth behind many disputed historical events. Just four years after the project was begun, the world's first time machine underwent its first test run. However, due to mounting concerns by individuals who believed that the machine would be used not only to explore history, but also to alter it, the test run would be the first and last time that the machine would be used for research purposes. The project was discontinued, and Sinclair was forbidden to ever work on time distortion projects again. Time travel, now a reality, the government secretly set up the Temporal Security Annex as a means to safeguard history from potential sabotage. You, the members of the Temporal Protectorate, are among the very few who know of its existence. Well, that doesn't look good. Dear God, it's finally happened. And with you of all people on duty, Gage, this is it. It all depends on you. Get to the ready room. Let's do it! Alright, you heard him. Let's do it! Okay. Oh, look, we can see the wave coming at us. That's, that's nifty. Look at that hand icon, too. That hand cursor. That's all, like, madly. It's got veins and everything popping. <coughs> That. That looks neat. Alright, you heard the lady. Let's go get a disc.
Temporal RIP emergency confirmed. Initiating protocol. Access authorized for Agent 5 G. Blackwood. Yep, that's a nifty looking key. You get the feeling it probably doesn't open a lot of doors though. Temporal RIP emergency confirmed. Access authorized for Agent 5G Blackwood. Preparation complete for Mapping Biochip. Pegasus Biochip. Temporal okay. RIP emergency mission in progress. Pegasus access authorization confirmed for Agent 5 G Blackwood. Prepare for biosuit encapsulation. Ultrasonic body type assessment. Mesomorphic. Infra scanning exact body dimensions. Please keep hands inside turbo lift. Alright, we're all suited up. Let's go play with the time machine and ruin stuff. We're gonna wreck history. Looks like a door, it looks different. It's a really small door. Agent 5, do not attempt to leave Pegasus. TSA protocol strictly mandates that the Pegasus remain sealed from all outside contact once a temporal repair mission is initiated. Remember, this protocol exists to protect the TSA agent from the effects of temporal anomalies that may have occurred in the corrupted time stream. All right, Gage. The world has only one hope, and it's you. I pray that after the rip hits, TSA will still be here for you to transport back to. Good luck. You must immediately activate Pegasus before the approaching temporal distortion wave reaches the present. You will be traveling back to the year 200 million <coughs> BC to recover the journeyman historical log. After obtaining the disk, you will initiate your auto recall function, returning you to the Pegasus. Once you have returned, you must compare the corrupted and uncorrupted histories of the planet and determine the most likely origins of the distortions. Let's go check out some dinosaurs. currently 124 <coughs> meters above the rocky shoreline below. Please exercise appropriate... 
Dinosaur. Doesn't look like it's from dinosaur time. Dinosaur again. Warning, you are currently 124 meters above the rocky. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Let's not go that way, though. <clears throat> yep, there is nothing there. If this worked, but no. <clears throat> All right. what it does but it's got to do something All the skill out of your game. Yeah, just take all the skill out of your game and cheat. There we go. Now we found a nifty looking thing. That doesn't belong here. Place hand on scanner for ID verification.
looks like it belongs there. Agent 5, you have accomplished your mission and recovered the Journeyman Historical Log. You must now return quickly to the Temporal Security Annex and review the disk. How do we go back? One of these should pull up my biochips. <coughs> Here's good enough time to save. I don't remember how to pull up my biochips. Hmm? Nope. Alright, let's do it this way. Because... Here's a signed copy of it. This is the Journeyman Interface Overview. Point at any part of the interface to learn more about it. PC. Ah, there we go. All the way to your left. Nope. Keep going. Mm-hmm. There's our biochips. That's the one we need. Open it. Actually, that. What are you doing joyriding in the Pegasus? Your research reconnaissance mission was not scheduled until... Wait a minute, what's that uniform you're wearing? What's that look on your face? You have a lot of questions to answer, soldier! Once you have finished logging your report in the command center, I want to see you in my office, immediately! I think that's a perfectly good time to end a test stream. Uh, also, cool shiny thing was just discussing. There is actually in my possession a lovely signed copy of uh, Pegasus Prime from the uh, the great guys over at Presto. They were kind enough to shoot that our way. Uh, we should uh, we should be picking some of this up again tomorrow. Pick up where we left off, and we'll see uh, what comes next. All right.